My Santaconda don't want none unless you got Poke Puffs, hun. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Carl Monroe and I am a lyrical genius. If you're new here or haven't yet, be sure to like and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for daily gaming content and stick around until the end for some comment replies and some bloopers because I can't speak properly. With the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield last year, we did a scary Pokemon list. However, what are some of the coolest new Pokemon? That's what we're exploring with today's list of the Top 10 New Pokemon. Roll the intro. Close enough. I wanted to avoid any Galar forms or new evolutions on this list, but I can't avoid talking about Runaragus. This evolution of Galar Yamask is a ground and ghost type Pokemon that looks incredible. Honestly, while Pokemon may be running out of ideas, I really like this thing. His ability is Wandering Spirit, which switches abilities with a Pokemon that hits it using a physical move. And with only 23 of its learnable moves being physical, you'll be in a tough way to switch back. To get this Pokemon, you need to have a Galar Yamask with 49 or more damage and level it up while it's holding a Dusty Bowl. That's honestly a lot. And since Pokemon can now calculate the amount of damage you have, have, maybe this opens the door for a ghost type evolution soon. This thing is like glowing runes connected by thin silk, and it's shiny? Oh my lord. Lord Jesus. In at 9, Corviknight. Corviknight is a badass metal bird. How could you not include it on this list? The token bird Pokemon of the Galar region's final evolution is literally what you could use to simply fly into Mordor. Being a flying and steel Pokemon may not be new, but with its hidden ability Mirror Armor, it bounces back any stat lowering effects it would receive. That means if you try to buff and debuff this thing at once, it will only take the good. That's what I call optimism. This is the only bird I'd keep as a pet, and its shiny form is a beautiful gunmetal gray with black neck fur. And the fact that the shield decks describes them as the air taxity of Galar makes me feel so bad for them, but also reminds me that I could use them for flying me around everywhere, and they'll be used to it. Being a king myself, I do need a knight. Perhaps I need a metal clad bird as my wingman. Thank you, thank you, I know, it was amazing. In at 8, Yamper. One word. Corgi. This damn thing is so cute, it has to be the cutest Pokemon in Galar. And its shiny version is even more adorable. Have you ever seen a naturally pink dog? I don't think so. Somehow this little furball is electric instead of normal type, and his ability is the cutest thing. Ballfetch lets him go retrieve the first failed Pokeball throw of the battle if he isn't holding an item. What a good boy. But this also begs the question, if we can get the balls back after they fail, why aren't we picking them up after we battle and reusing them? Reduce reuse, recycle, right? PETA don't come after Pokemon for monster violence, Greta better come after them for wasting so many Pokeballs. Their carbon emissions are probably still lower than ours though. Back to Yamper. This is the only dog Pokemon that really looks like a type of dog. I know Lillipup looks like a dog, but no dog that I've seen has a freaking lion's mane. All I need is a pug Pokemon now and I'm good. And at 7, Colossal. The pun of this name is incredible. Colossal is what elves would be if the toy Santa from the Santa Claus 2 had won. This massive 684 pound rock fire Pokemon is constantly carrying coal on its back, just like its team. This Pokemon's ability is that when it gets hit by a fire or water attack, which it is four times weak to BT dubs, its speed increases by six stages. And this Pokemon is known to kill people. The sword dex reads, it's usually peaceful, but the vandalism of mines enrages it. Offenders will be incinerated with flames that reach 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're anywhere else in the world, that's 1,482.2 degrees Celsius. Water boils at less than 10% of that. I had to put this thing here because if I didn't, it would have killed me. And just look at it, it's bad. The coal on its back and those thighs. Colossal is thicker than a bowl of oatmeal that was made with a bottle of corn syrup for a Kardashian. And its Gigantamax form looks like an evil layer on top of a volcano. Oh my god, this thing is great! Number 6, Clobopus. This is the other cutest Pokemon in the Galar region, but only because of its name and design. Clobopus is an octopus boxer. Yeah, how freaking adorable is that? And its evolution just looks bad as hell. It's a curious creature, but it investigates things by trying to punch them with its tentacles. Apparently, it's as smart as a three-year-old, and honestly, that's just cute. <laughs> Every move it learns from leveling up is a physical move, aside from the status moves. Because he's an adorable little bean who just wants to punch stuff. Like that song from I'm in the band, I wanna punch stuff. 
I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch stuff. I wanna punch, bam, boom, slam, kick. Just me? Of course the little bean is a fighting type, but I'm surprised it's not water. Its shiny looks so much better than the original, and this is especially the case when looking at its evolution. To have it evolve, you need to level up Clobopus when it knows Taunt. These are some weird evolution criteria. Why not just, like, with a black belt? Halfway through at number 5, Eternatus. This Pokemon is literally classified as the Gigantamax Pokemon. This Poison Dragon legendary Pokemon comes in at a whopping 65 feet tall and 2,100 pounds. The core on its chest absorbs energy emanating from the lands of the Galar region. This energy is what allows Eternatus to stay active, meaning it is absorbing the energy of the Galar region, slowly killing it probably. He is a massive, like, insect looking thing with a beautiful blue and red color scheme. And its shiny makes it pink instead of blue and it looks intense and incredible. Some of the pink shinies don't really work, but this one does. It has the normal ability of pressure and even though it can't breathe, the base egg steps is 30,000. It also has an Eternamax form, but this is inaccessible unless you use the move Eternabeam. Since it is in the animation, the form makes an appearance. Number 4, Snom. I talked about Snom during the scariest Pokemon list, since some fan created a massive crap storm that is the Snom Twitter account, where he shows him playing with his friends, Vikavolt, Joltik, Larvastar, and Mother Slenderman, where they go to Arby's for some reason. The things this account posts are horrific, from suicidal Venipede to Snom falling to his death. And it's like a story is being put together and it will culminate into some giant climax. These Pokemon go to jail, burn down cities, play Monopoly, play Club Penguin, rest in peace, and hail Venipede like some form of deity. Yeah, this Pokemon stat-wise is kind of trash, but the best part is the Twitter. He's an ice and bug type and only weighs 8.4 pounds. He is a little monster though, and that's why I love him. Number 3. Dreadnought. Dreadnought is one mean mamajama. This water rock type turtle kind of looks like a snapping turtle on steroids. He actually reminds me of Juggernoid from Bakugan. Does anyone else remember that? And I'm talking Bakugan Battle Brawlers, the original, not this new age bull they're trying to push now. Oh, and when Drago went to the Doom Dimension, oh, only real men cried. Dreadnought is a highly aggressive Pokemon being quoted as chomping down on its unfortunate prey with jaws that can tear through steel rods in the sword decks. Fun. Sounds like my kind of party. Plus this thing is somehow a hungry hungry hippo, being able to extend its neck quickly to sink its fangs into distant enemies, as it says in the shield decks. All in all, a terrifying opponent, but a fun pet. Anyone down for Hungry Hungry Hippos IRL? Well, not really IRL, because it's, it's Pokemon. And at 2, Rillaboom. Rillaboom is the best final evolution hands down. I will always be a Grookey Gang stan. The grass type Pokemon is 7 feet tall and 200 pounds, which is pretty impressive for a monster. This guy is a giant metalhead drummer and looks the part, including a shiny version of this Pokemon is beautiful and looks like a majestic rainforest tree. I don't really understand what that means, but I'm sure if you see him, you will understand too. He's ripped and his move pool shows it, with over 80% of the moves he learns through leveling up being physical. Two of the other moves are special and focused on sound. The other starter final evolutions look similar in all honesty. Sure one's a rabbit and the other one isn't, but they have a similar silhouette and shape compared to Rillaboom. Plus monkeys are like my favorite animal, so the others take a seat. It's Grookey Gang time. Finally, and at number 1, Grimmsnarl. While Grimmsnarl may have been on my scary Pokemon list, he is still undeniably a freak. This guy looks like if Dwayne The Rock Johnson was working for Santa Claus. He's even Kevin Hart's height too, coming in at 4 foot 11 and 134 pounds. Grimmsnarl is a roided out dark fairy type whose shiny form looks incredible. The original looks like Green Goblin had some hormone therapy for lost hair and got a little too much, but the shiny just looks incredible. I can't even put it into words. Words. The hair on its body actually enhances its muscles as well, making him even stronger and faster and freakish. This Pokemon can even beat Machamp in an arm wrestling match. Oh, and I forgot to mention that his hair is sentient and can ensnare people like tentacles. A million tiny tentacles. There we have it friends, the top 10 new Pokemon. What are your favorite Pokemon, both new and of all time? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe for daily gaming content, and ring the bell to join the clan and level up. While you do that, because you will do that, I'll read out some comments. Jacob Carbino said, this would be a pretty cool gameplay series. I know, I wanted to get like an actual series of something going, but we've been doing like one-offs recently. So if you guys have a game you'd like to see us play or have a series for us, let us know in the comments. And like the comments if you see a game that you like. 
do it. Piggy does YouTube, the pig that could, said, when you said this is better than Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, I got a question. Do you like that game? Cause I love it. Did I say that one of those EXEs was better than Jump Scare Mansion? I meant to say worse. Because yes, I like that game and those EXEs aren't better than anything. Even my own feces. Thunder Plays said, are you planning on making a top 10 best EXEs game video? Hey, <laughs> you saw right through us, didn't you? Koala Akinbola said, why Gumball? Why Shrek? Why any of those? I don't know why they did Gumball, but they did Shrek because like, come on, it's Shrek. Like one of the most iconic and memorable movies of all time. You know, somebody once told me, the world is gonna roll me. Now I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but she was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash like and subscribe and ring the bell to join the clan and level up. But you already did that because I said I'd read out comments while you did it, so you should have already done it. You get it. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been and shall remain Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video. That is by far the least complicated title we've ever. Fuck, I didn't number them. I thought I did this time. Son of a. Runerigus. I forgot what number this is. I think this is five now. I thought I did this time, man. I swear. Oh yeah, I can speak perfectly fine. Don't look at this video again. <laughs>